Um, that is a really good question. Is Star Citizen a scam? <laughs> uh, I don't believe so. I don't believe Star Citizen is a, a or a, or I would say CIG's uh, tendency for their their practices of the game or, or, their, or their their practices their development practices to be in a compromising in nature or or a, a scam in nature at, at all. I don't I don't see that at all but however the the history of, of CIG and, and the, the Star Citizen development over the past had led people to believe that that is the case due to the 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 nature of how they communicate with the Star Citizen community in the past um, not being um, forthcoming with certain information and not uh uh, keeping true to certain deadlines and not having a true uh, transparency on a continuous uh, basis when that was the premise and the foundation of the relationship between the backers and CIG in the first place. Right. So it kind of looked like that at at some point and a lot of people including myself have questioned the legitimacy of CIG and the Star Citizen title but um I can understand you know every game developer out there run to run through some form of of, of situations being it legal or, or or financial things of that nature and there, there's have been gang studios out there that they couldn't produce after making a big huge uh, announcement and and setting out promises that they couldn't live up to there's right. a lot of game developers out there like that that had that uh situation right that being said star citizen is um or cig they ma managed to keep their title afloat the the despite the 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 rhetoric and the criticism and the and the uh the overwhelming uh doubt you know that's just my take on it. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, I, 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 I strongly agree. You know, the, the, the were things that, uh, I think there were, it was more so growing pains. Um, you know, the, the, when, when they started this thing in Kickstarter, it was, they had to build a company. They had to build a, the, the, the tech to be able to do what they said they wanted to do. So, Throughout yes. that whole process, you can expect some bumps uh, down the road. So, um, yeah, I strongly agree with that. Yeah, and it's it's you know, and that's not just not just in the world of gaming, but that's in the mm -hmm. in the world of of uh, business across the board. You know, mm -hmm. um, and there's always going to be um, obstacles and and tribulations. Uh, as as you go, even when you have a successful uh, uh, game title or successful businesses, there's gonna always be challenges mm -hmm. that you have have to meet in order for you to be uh, uh, successful. And the more challenges you you face, and and the small wins you 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 gain, that makes you stronger. That makes you smarter. That that that. Uh, build a character that allows you to to build up confidence to keep to keep going it's it's not so much as as 
as the the obstacles themselves that is the problem because you can't help that because there's there's nothing perfect there's nothing that, that there's there's no way you can control that that's just things happening you know it's how you deal with it it's how you function with it it's how you uh uh convey what it is that's going on and and who you convey that message to to say that okay yes we have an issue we have a problem we got we got bumps in the road and stuff like that but once we get past this then we can move on to this this and this and this and in the case of CIG earlier on during the um the 2000 if if I'm not mistaken um 2014 to 2015 to 2016 time frame they didn't do well at um talking talking about or communicating with the community very well on what's going on it was a lot of a lot of uh gray area you know and so but once they got I, I think that once they got their their um their tires to the road so to speak they were able to to get the uh the car moving again and um and uh and the community can get on board and, and go along for the ride. Right, 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 right. So the the next question I have is do you think what what do you think they could have done better during that 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 period between 14 2014 2015 and 16 to be honest with you my man I, <laughs> I, I man I don't know I don't know because that's that see that's the thing you know with, with the community we only see it from our side of the fence you know um we it can we can easily say that this is what they could have done better this is what they they should have did you know the should have would have could have argument right. but there was so many there was so many parameters you know and and things that we didn't know we know too much about you know because mm -hmm. yes we could we could say that maybe they could have uh told us what was going on maybe they should have said this and maybe should have said that but mm -hmm. some some things are better left unsaid because <clears throat> if it's all about integrity at the end of the day it's it's in it's in on our part we're we're backing star citizen off of good faith anytime mm -hmm. that that's that's a relationship no matter no matter what venue that you get into or wh where you invest your dollars you or, or where you invest your energy you're doing it off of good faith right. off of the, the the hopes that that if i do this i'm going to get something in return but on their end the ball is always in their court Mm -hmm. the ball is always in their court so it might may not be advantageous for them to say anything if their integrity is sound right right so if 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 CIG integrity is intact and they Chris Roberts have it in his mind that he by golly, I'm going to complete this title by any means necessary. Mm -hmm. Then it wouldn't be very advantageous of him or anybody that's in his team to come out and say anything. Right. It'd be more beneficial to let the critics say what they're going to say let the people do what they're gonna naturally gonna do if you're gonna be for if you're gonna be on board be on board if you're gonna jump ship jump ship right because it'll be that much more glorious 
when you when they come out and say bam here's star citizen and right. here it is right right as opposed to uh well uh everybody we, we um <sighs> we got some bad news for you <laughs> you know right. what I mean? That's right. not going. Right. That's not going to go off very well. Because the first, because look, you got to remember back then. You know, you had the situation with David Smart, right? Yes. Yes. And and Derek he was Smart, a big proponent. Derek Smart. Derek Smart. Derek Smart. Yeah. He was a big proponent of of uh, you know, this is this is this is public knowledge. I'm. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying anything to disparage this is public knowledge we know this and we're speaking along in the terms of the star citizen star citizen community and the, mm-hmm. and the growth of star citizen and the history so he was he was big on uh uh, uh saying that this isn't gonna work this mm-hmm. isn't gonna come into fruition. They don't know what they're doing. Chris Roberts don't know what he's doing. He's mm-hmm. in over his head. He sh- he needs to uh, fold uh, before he gets started, you know. Mm-hmm. And not on not only him, but but other uh, critics, uh, news um, uh, coverings, magazines, things of that nature. Different big time websites was covering it. Star Citizen. It was just like Tupac. All eyes on him. Right. All eyes on Chris Roberts. So it was a, a, a lot of uh, uh, rhetoric and, and hearsay and, and all of the above. So when you, when you compile that with the community, community is watching. Mm-hmm. You see? And so they are stuck to make up their own minds. And if the, if CIG was to come out and say, or Chris Roberts or anybody was to come out and say, hey, uh, listen here, um, <laughs> we got some bad news. Right. That's not going to go over well, especially within that time period. Because that's the last thing you want to say. Because right. everybody is gunning for you to fail. And I even me, mm-hmm. I even had that discussion. I even thought that CIG was going to go belly up. Right. It's not going to work. Then they, they can't pull it off, you know. But right. I wouldn't necessarily will say, even within that, that's not saying that it's a scam. Mm-hmm. You see. I will say that that is just a company that put out a dream. They couldn't make good on that proposal. Mm -hmm. They were in over their head, but at the same time, it's how it's, it's how people perceive it. You see, and then you can't really you can't really call crowdfunding a scam. No way. Right. Because you as an individual, me included, had took the personal, has taken the personal choice to mm-hmm. pledge in the in crowdfunded. It's it's a pledge. It's a donation. Mm-hmm see if that's if that's the case then you can say that the stock market is a scam right and you lose dollars and money every day you it's, it's not always green right it's in the red sometimes it's not always in the plus it's in the negative sometimes that's true so you lose you lose money on a regular basis you see but the, the 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 name of the game is you got to get in it to win it mm-hmm. you got to get in it to win it you see i think uh, uh uh how do we define a scam first of all mm-hmm. how do we define that i think a scam is a con artist mm-hmm you see where someone when someone 
is being something that they not earns your trust take all your money Mm -hmm. and give you absolutely nothing in return right on your investment and then you 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 stuck there with two empty pockets and you, you never see this entity ever again right that's a scam see at least we had star citizen being mm-hmm. it hangar module being being it arena commander being it star marine they gave us something mm-hmm. at least they had the decency to say you know what we going to take your we going to take your 3 million dollars we took four million, four million of your of your dollars of your hard earned money that you willingly gave. In return, we just gonna give you a hanger and a little right. man, a little bald head guy <laughs> <laughs> to run around in in the hangar and look at ships that you that you planned for, right? Because the mm-hmm. ships that you planned for was in your hangar. Right. And some of which you were able to interact with, right? They had the decency to give you that, right? You couldn't do you couldn't do anything with the the ships. You couldn't. Only thing you can do is log into the hangar and run around in the hangar. That's it. Right. We're gonna take four hundred million dollars of your hard earned money that you willingly gave. And we, in return, we're going to give you a hangar module. And then from there, we're going to build on it. We're mm-hmm. going to build on it. We're going to we're going to turn the hangar module into arena commander. We're going to mm-hmm. turn arena commander into star marine. Then we're going to turn star marine, arena commander, and the hangar module into star citizen. Mm-hmm. You see? And then star citizen went from 1.0 to 3.17.1 and beyond right so that's that's nine years of backers having access to star citizen while pledging in the process right so do i think star citizen or cig is running some form of a scam no no Right. That did that, but that don't that doesn't even make sense. That don't make sense. That don't make sense at all. Right. I don't see. I don't see that. Now check this out. You played the game. Mm-hmm. If CIG was to close their doors today, right now, Jared Huckabee was to pop on, uh, on the YouTube, make a YouTube video, make an announcement and say, hey, ladies and gentlemen, we're sorry, but we can't go no further. Uh, CIG, because it is blah, 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 whatever circumstances he explained. From Hangar Module to 3.17, you had the best gaming experience money can buy. Right. And and anybody who say different, I in my opinion, is lying. <laughs> right, right. They, they lying. Right. You know. Hmm. Okay. 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 So then, the next question would be, mm-hmm. why would other people call Star Citizen a scam? reason i i i i think be from from my experiences because like i said i lived through that era i was there for that for that era Mm -hmm. um and like i said before i too have uh said that out of my mouth and Mm -hmm. it speaking from myself i was saying it because of the fact that 
I myself were not used to this form of game development because this was mm-hmm. totally new new for me. Right. You see, my background is was gaming console, right? I come from the world of gaming console. Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, mm-hmm. um, Neo Geo, uh, things of that nature. Atari, Xbox, Xbox 360, PlayStation, PlayStation 2, and 3. Right. And through, through that gameplay experience, I did not know that games could be played on a computer Mm -hmm. until a friend told me and he introduced me to steam powered he showed me steam Mm -hmm. and he he introduced me to the power of pc gaming so when i got into pc gaming i later on learned how to build my own computer i built my first computer when i was in uh when i moved here to arizona that was the first time i built my first computer and Mm -hmm. when i built my first computer i was looking for i was searching for different games and stuff of that nature and i came across star citizen Mm -hmm. and i came across elite dangerous eve online uh the uh the x4 uh series Mm -hmm. that that types of games but uh, anyway, um, I didn't, I didn't know anything about this type of game development mm-hmm. because I was so used to games coming out the traditional way. Right. When the game is developed, it is announced on E3. You read the Informer magazine. Remember the Informer game magazine? I remember that. Yeah. Yeah, you I was subscribed to that. I was getting that magazine uh every month. Mm -hmm. And it will have the the release dates for some of the games in there. Mm -hmm. And you will have the E3 game show every year. And they will give release dates on when the games will uh will drop. And then we'll wait for the games to populate at uh at Walmart or GameStop or EB right. Games, right. or you can pre-order your game and 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 you go there and pick it up and you pay for it, take it home and play it. Right. You see, that was the world we come from. You see, and CIG Chris Roberts and his team they revolutionized the how gameplay is developed and how it is funded most of your your big time uh game publishers like rockstar bethesda uh um incognito things of that nature Mm -hmm. they 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 get their funding through advertisement and investment and sponsorships from various products that sold in the grocery stores Mm -hmm. you see so that's how they get their funding and and they also get money from the mother studio that that they're associated with like sony computer entertainment america mm-hmm. or you know or, or sony you know mm-hmm. and various uh, atari sega and various other uh companies publish publishing companies so they have their marketing strategy as well and they they help with that that funding and they get investors to invest in the project mm-hmm. you see they get movie sales uh movie ticket sales uh paraphernalia of 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 uh toys and and action figures and stuff so they they make money to get the game developed you see right that's the traditional way See, CIG revolutionized that. He said, you know what? Instead of us having a bunch of middlemen, right? Mm -hmm. We're just going to go straight to the source, which is the gamers themselves. Right. So instead of us uh, 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 trying to find investors and and spend all this money that we don't have for uh, marketing and advertisement, we're going to say, we're going to present this to gamers and say, we're going to drop it out there in the pond find the, the school of fish that's looking for a space game 
Because mm-hmm. at the time, there was no space games at the time. Right. Not not on a grand scale, you see. Not on okay. mass. You know, there were some space games out there. On, uh, EVE Online is one of the oldest ones that, that was uh, on the scene. But other than that, it wasn't anything spectacular anything of, of or, or or a whole lot of titles to choose from that we can say okay we're gonna go play this space game so cig said well we're gonna go out here into the deep we're gonna plunge out into the deep and we're gonna open up a poster in front of the fish and say look this is what we're presenting who's in and then bam hundred uh uh Hundred thousand fish mm-hmm. paying attention, mm-hmm. opening up the wallets. Here, here, take my money. Shut up and take my money. We're with it. Right. So that allows the the investors and the that allows the the gaming community to be the investor. So then the gaming community the star citizen community can can fund the advertisement the marketing the development things of that nature Mm -hmm. and so on and so forth and because of the nature because of the nature of the crowdfunding it was foreign And the only thing that we had at the time that resembles this type of strategy business model is the stock market. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. You see? Right. So or or uh, uh I don't know if you can yeah, it was the the this where you invest in something and you get something in in return so he didn't they didn't have to do that they didn't mm-hmm. have to give us a, a hanger module right it was the fact that their integrity was sound their integrity was sound and good enough and intact where they said okay these people gave us four million dollars we're mm-hmm. going to give them a hanger module and a ship that they pledged for no mm-hmm. actually they give you correction they give you the ship that you pledge for and a hanger to go with it right as a compliment you see true and so yeah um yeah so i I, yeah i think that uh reason why people say that it was a scam um is is because of that that point that i've just raised it it was foreign it was right revolutionary we wasn't used to it right you know we were we were more familiar and common with the old strategy because as gamers back back then you know how the and we're still playing these these console developed games right to this day true you know we play all different types of titles um we're not invested Mm-hmm. We're not invested until the game comes out, right? Until you see the game at Walmart on the shelf, you're not invested until you ask the guy to get the key, open up the thing, and grab right. the game out of there, right. and, and pay for it at the cash register. That is as far as your investment goes. You see, right? And the way Star Citizen is set up is that they're system is designed for ongoing investment yes with the the pledges and the subscriptions Mm -hmm. because the foundation is the community we're the foundation and when you don't communicate or convey and articulate certain things that the foundation needs to know in a timely fashion then that can induce a negative feedback 
from the community where they will say such things and 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 behave a certain a certain way Mm -hmm. so to answer your question what could they have done i i think they could have uh uh conveyed something said something but Mm -hmm. i don't know what that said something would have been Mm -hmm. because there's so many there's so many unknowns yeah you see yes but also at the same time it would not have been if their integrity was like i said if their integrity was sound and i believe it is Mm -hmm. then it wouldn't be advantageous for them to say anything in regards to it being a scam because if you go along those lines and you entertain that thought when it's not that the only thing you doing only thing you will do is add fuel to that fire you'll solidify that thought right if you are not a scam then it's best for you to keep your mouth closed and go on get get put your hands to the plow and mush on and keep moving forward and present something to hush up the naysayers that will be the right. best thing for or CIG to do right 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 yeah and uh I believe they have <laughs> over the years honestly um right. even even to this day like there's no other game that does what Star Citizen is right now it's a tech demo right now and it it's it and it, it embarrasses everything else out there, you know. So I I I, I strongly uh believe believe that myself too. So right, right, right. Yeah. All right. So the last question that I have for you is what would you recommend new players or those that are on the fence in trying Star Citizen? I'll say stay there. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I would definitely say stay there stay there if you if you have any type of because this I, this is me saying out of out of nine years of experience mm-hmm. I will say if you are on the fence and you are undecisive on, on what your decision is if you want to get into Star Citizen that is totally fine mm-hmm. I will say follow the development watch as much uh, videos as you possibly can on the title Mm -hmm. ask as many questions as you possibly can Mm -hmm. you know join a few uh, discord channels if if there are some uh, content creators that allow you to join their discord channel so that you can be a part of the, uh, the discussion Mm-hmm. and so learn as, as much as you can about the title see yourself in the world of Star Citizen before you jump into the world of Star Citizen see right. if the game is is a, a fit uh, for you uh, don't be uh, uh, don't be hasty if you have any mm-hmm. type of doubts don't ignore that if you want to I will say to that person if you want to wait wait and nothing wrong with that if you True. need to see more wait until you see more if you if if what you have if, if what Star Citizen is today right now is enough then hey <laughs> come on jump right. on in Right, be in the world of Star Citizen that's what I could say Awesome. 